Hello friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome! My name is Mal and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. In today's tutorial, we're going to be using TechRap Craft Vinyl for most of our design elements. You guys know I love TechRap Craft. I use them all the time on this channel and today's video is sponsored by them. So thank you so much to TechRap Craft for partnering with me on this video. So in the video, we're going to be using a few different products from TechRap Craft to create this tumbler design. I absolutely love this vinyl. It's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to use it on literally everything that I do from now on. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy the tutorial. If you would like to grab any of the vinyl I'm using in this video or anything else from their website, I will have a link down in the description box for you as well as a discount code for 10% off. Um, the discount code is right here. It's Mallory10. Um, if you would like to use that, I do get a little bit of a commission from that, um, but you save a little bit of money as well. So I hope that you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go! So we are using a 20 ounce skinny mug from Craft Haven for this tutorial. We're going to start off by wrapping our mug using this rainbow stripes vinyl, of course from Tech Wrap Craft. It's absolutely beautiful. The colors are so bright and it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. So we're going to glitter over it, but you really don't have to if you want that kind of subtle shimmer. but. I always say more glitter is better. So I'm going to just cut down this vinyl to size and I'm going to avoid the bottom of my cup because we're going to be doing a peekaboo. We don't need to worry about the bottom. So I'm going to start my wrap up on the side of my cup basically and I'm just cutting off any excess so that this only has a little bit of extra up at the top. So you can see down at the bottom where that green is, I'm going to put it just a little bit up above the bottom rim of the cup. And I'm really not super concerned with getting this perfectly straight or perfectly lined up because like I said, it's gonna be a peekaboo. You're not gonna be able to see any seams or whether the colors line up perfectly in the end. So don't stress about it too much, okay? So once I get to my handle, I'm going to trim where the handle is. I do have a full mug wrap tutorial on my channel. I'll have it linked above if you wanna check that out and learn exactly how I do this. Um, I'm not being super precise with this wrap, but if you want to know how to do it the precise, intricate way, I will have that video linked for you. So I'm just going to take my craft knife and kind of cut around the handle so that I can lay this vinyl down flat. And then I'm going to trim off all of that excess vinyl that's hanging over the seam. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of overhang just so we don't have any stainless steel poking through. Um, and then I'm just going to repeat that same process for the middle of the handle, like underneath and then up at the top. And I'm trimming off any excess that is coming up onto the sides of the handle as well. I don't wanna have any of that texture or anything because we're not going to glitter the handle the same color we're going to glitter our cup. So because my vinyl didn't line up perfectly, I had a little bit of bubbling at the bottom. I just trimmed that off with my craft knife and now I'm pulling up the excess vinyl at the top up over that top rim and trimming that off. You guys have seen me do that a million times. So now we've got our cup fully wrapped and we're ready to go in with our glitter. The first glitter we're going to be using is Exhale from PDB. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at this close up shot. Hello. And then the next color we're using is Bougie, also from PDB. It's a similar kind of iridescent color. Um, what I'm going to do is test and see what these are going to look like on this rainbow vinyl. So I just took a little scrap piece from our wrap, put some glitter glue on there, and now I'm pouring Exhale and this is Bougie to see what they both look like. And we're going to mix them together. So I'm making a custom mix here, my favorite thing to do ever. And I'm putting 30 milliliters of each glitter into a mixing cup and now I'm just going to stir it all together and just wait. Oh my gosh. If you guys like these macro shots of glitter, let me know. I think it's really cool to see it up close. You really get to see all of the color. So if you like those, let me know and I'll keep doing them. I'm sorry that last clip was out of focus. I don't know what my camera was doing, but I just applied the glitter using the glitter glue. I glittered everything but the very bottom of the cup and the handle. So once the glitter glue dried at least two hours, I went in with my first coat of epoxy here. I took 30 milliliters and spread it everywhere. I put a little bit on the handle and the bottom just to make sure everything was smooth. 
Once that was cured, I added another coat of about 20 milliliters, and now we're ready to go in and do all of our sanding. I'm gonna focus a lot of my sanding up on that top rim. So first I'm gonna go in with my craft knife and just run it along that top rim to scrape off any epoxy that's hanging out up there where it doesn't belong. And then I'm going to go in with my sanding blocks. If you don't like to use sanding blocks, you can use whatever you have. I'm planning on getting one of those nice electric sanders when I move, but for now, sanding blocks it is. I'm gonna use three different grits. I have a 60, a 120, and a 220. And we're gonna work our way from the roughest grit to the softest grit. I'm focusing the 60 really up at the top rim, pretty much. There's a few spots on the cup that I'm gonna use the 60 on, but for the most part, it's just up at the top rim. Then with the 120, I'm gonna start going over the entire surface of the cup. I am going over anywhere that I hit with the 60 as well, just to kind of start to buff those out. And then finally, I'm going to take the 220, which is the softest of the three, and I'm gonna go pretty, just gonna go ham on this. I'm going over the entire cup, trying to get this as smooth as possible, and buffing out any sanding marks that may have been left behind from the 60 grit. Once I'm done sanding, I'm gonna go in and wash this with dish soap and water, get all of that sanding residue off, dry it off really well, and now we're ready to go in and place all of our peekaboo decals. I got both of these files that we're going to use for our stencils from Creative Fabrica. I will have them both linked down below in the description box. We've got this super cute Stay Groovy decal, which is going to be our main character. And then I've got some groovy little flowers as well. I cut these out of just my regular Aura Mask stencil vinyl. I believe Tech Wrap does carry stencil vinyl, but I don't have any. I need to get some, but I'm just using my regular tried and true Aura Cal 651 stencil vinyl. I'm placing the Stay Groovy first. I like to place it so that if you hold the cup in your right hand, the design faces outward, but you can put it on any side you want. And now I'm just gonna go around and place these flowers wherever I think they'll look good. I'm gonna put them all on the cup, just kind of spread around randomly. I was using transfer tape, then realized I didn't need to, and I just started putting them down like stickers. So once I've got all of those placed, I'm gonna do two light coats of flat white spray paint from Rust-Oleum. And once that paint is good and dry, I'm going to go in for my Peely Peely. So I'm using my tweezers that I love. You guys know how I feel about these. Um, they're perfect for peekaboos because they're sharp and they pick up the vinyl really, really well. Um, so I'm just gonna go through using these and pick up my decals really, really carefully. I don't wanna scratch my paint, especially because it's white, you'll totally see it. So just be careful, take your time. These bigger decals are pretty easy to get up. I think this only took me maybe like 10 minutes. So once I've got my decals peeled up, I'm going to go in with my glitter glue and glitter the handle. I'm using Astrid from PDB. It's a fine cut, kind of iridescent color, kind of similar to Exhale, just a little bit, but it's really fine. Um, glittering the handle is completely optional. I know a lot of people like to avoid glittering the handle because sometimes it's hard to get smooth and you, you can have all kinds of issues, but I think it looks really pretty and using a fine cut makes it a little bit easier to deal with. So I just use my glitter glue, covered the handle really carefully, and then went in with my glitter. And once that was dry, I went in with my glitter glue again on the entire surface of the cup and you guessed it, I'm gonna add more glitter. So I'm taking Illumination from PDB. It's a beautiful holographic, it's like a mini chunky kinda. So I'm just going to take a little pinch of it in my fingers and sprinkle this all throughout that kind of just white blank space. You can do as much or as little of this as you would like, obviously. I just wanted to add a little bit of extra sparkle to the outside of this so that we didn't have so much plain white space. So once that was all filled in, I set this aside and let it dry a full two hours. I did tap all of the glitter down just to make sure that it was lying flat and then went in with another coat of epoxy. I'm using a little extra ink epoxy as always. It's my favorite epoxy ever. And I'm taking about 20 milliliters for this coat. I really just wanna make sure that I have a smooth enough surface for my decals to go on next. So. You don't have to use too much, just make sure it's smooth. I did stop my turner so that I could make sure I got that handle really, really well. And once it was cured, I was ready to jump right into my outlines. So for the outline of our Stay Groovy, I'm using this reflective black. And then for the flowers, I cut out three colors. I'm using pearlescent peacock blue, 
coral orange and lime I can't decide which one's my favorite they're all absolutely beautiful and I just cut out a few flower outlines in each color I didn't try to pay attention to where they were on the cup or anything I just picked a few and cut a few out in that color so I'm just going to go around and place these on the individual flowers one by one and I am trying to make sure that I don't get too many of the same outline next to each other and it worked out pretty well but if they were next to each other it's not a huge deal they're really thin so they're not overtaking the floral underneath they're just adding a little bit of extra color which is what this whole design concept is all about so i'm just going to finish placing these and then we'll move on to our stay groovy wording outline okay so this reflective black vinyl is insane it is so pretty i know you kind of lose a little bit of that rainbow effect when you cut it so thin but i cannot wait to use this on something else so i can get the full effect the only thing is it's a little bit difficult to get off the backing so just take your time and be patient with it and i'm using parchment paper in between my decal and my tumbler to make sure that i get this lined up correctly i'm going to adhere one little end of the transfer tape that was sticking out and then just basically hinge my outline onto my tumbler here so you can see it worked out great it's lined up perfectly i'm going to make sure it's really adhered and then peel off the transfer tape really carefully and i did spray this with a coat of matte clear from rust-oleum once that was dry, I waited about 45 minutes, I went in with my final coats of epoxy. So this first coat is about 20 milliliters, and then the final coat was only about 10. Your cup should be pretty smooth at this point, so you shouldn't need too much epoxy. So here's what the final result looks like. This cup is so fun and bright and just gives me all of those good groovy vibes. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you again to TechRap Craft for sponsoring this video. I love TechRap Craft. Um, if you want to grab any of the vinyl you saw in this video, make sure you check out the link in the description and use my discount code Mallory10 for 10% off your order. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. I don't, I know there's a braid in my head. Where is it? Um, but they, what? Maybe English will be good. Maybe. Maybe it will be good. Super bright and colorful. Oh my god, I'm already out of breath. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Was that good? I think so.